Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to Saturday and welcome to Index Card. I was going to say Friday, but <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I know that probably threw a lot of you off yesterday. It kind of threw me off, but here we are. So this is going to be a little bit of a different index card um, video because we're going to be in our waterfall journal for a bit and it's all going to make sense when you see what I came up with. Um, this is the index card for this week right here and um, this flips up there's your index card, okay? So it's also, you it can be considered a secret journaling spot because this flips up and there you go. Look at that. I, uh, yeah, I, this, this came to me. I got excited about it and we need some type of a, that'll work some type of a something something so this is what we're going to be making now I wanted to let you know that these can be done this is six inches obviously they can be done for a book page a standard like if you're doing an eight by six or an eight by five or a six by five or whatever you just are going to cut your your um <clears throat> cardstock down but I also wanted to say that this can be used this way and after your book is your signatures are sewn in let me see not yeah you could if you wanted to slip this in this way like that and have it open like this so um I think it's versatile but I wanted to do something, as you know, to cover this page, something to cover this, do something with this. And this is what I came up with. So this is going to sit on there as a double belly band. And we are going to have some type of a clip down here. Also, if you want, you could hang a charm off of the bottom of this just like that but I also wanted to show you one other thing my original thought for this was to have it like this and then to glue it glue your backside down if you didn't want the double um, if you didn't want the double then use a piece of cardstock you don't like a throwaway piece of cardstock glue it like you would a normal belly band and then this will open up like that so you still have your belly band here and you still have the capability of having this uh, writing space so it will work either way in this book it's going to work this way and we are going to put I might change out the color of this. I don't know. We're going to put this like that. And because we're in the book, okay, we are going to make a couple of these, so don't go anywhere. But because we're in here, I, um, I went ahead and I embossed some of the die cuts, but I thought I would use these pumpkins. They were on sale for, I think, 50 or 75%, maybe 50%, a Hobby Lobby. You know, they're cupcake picks. And I thought I would use these because I just thought that it's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and put this in here. But before we do that, you know, I pulled the little pick out. And I just like to take and just flatten this down as much as I can. Um, if you wanted to, if this bothered you, you could, because there was, there's, there's a hollow hole in here now because we had a toothpick in there. 
you could fill this up with glue and um, just hold it till it grabs. And then actually what this does is it flattens it even more because you don't have that crease in there. So th to me, this actually works better if you do put a little bit of glue in there. We should be good. I'll let you see the difference because I've got another one here. I don't know if you can really tell. Hopefully you can tell. So, um, yeah, let's do the same on this because we're going to use this one on the other side. So I just kind of fill that cavity in with glue and give it a good pinch. Just hold it. Just hold it for maybe 10 seconds. Just whatever glue you're using so that it has a chance to dry. So how's everyone? I'm sorry about yesterday. I thought, oh, they're going to be disappointed. Hopefully you weren't. Everything is good. We are just running a day behind, but it's okay. All right, so what do you all think? I do like that. I uh, did emboss, satin embossed. Um, that's kind of cute, but I'm afraid that'll get in the way. Um, boy, that is kind of cute, though, isn't it? What do y'all think? Hmm. I embossed this one as well. Tim Holtz embossing glazes. Don't like that at all. This one I also embossed. Ooh, I like that, though. Oh my goodness, choices. Choices. Let's see. I think we're going to do this, and I think we're going to do this on the other side. What do y'all think? I just like that. I think that's really pretty. And it doesn't take away from this, and so I'm happy about that. So I'm going to kind of leave this here where I can see where I'm supposed to put some glue. And we want a little up here because we don't want this flapping around. We don't want to close off our belly band either. So Charlotte, be careful about that. You don't want glue seeping underneath there. So that's on. That's not going to go anywhere. So now... We need to, how much is going to overhang? I actually can get the whole thing on. So let's do it. And then we'll do the other side and then we'll move on to um, our index card. But we're doing this too, so I think it's okay. We do a little bit on this and a little bit the index card because they're they're really working together. Ah, oh, see that? Yeah, there was a tiny bit of glue under there. Better to be safe than sorry, guys. So I'm glad I had that under there or we would have glued this down. So be careful about that. So when you take this off, this, well, you can either completely remove, oh, look at here, yeah, oh, look what I did, yep, yep, I pulled, there's a whole lot we can do about that, but that's okay, I mean, that is what it is, I apologize, but I think... We just, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's um, let's do what I think I would have, I would normally do. Let's see. Do I put this on here? You pull this up. Let's. 
Let's do this. What do y'all think? Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do, let's do that. And then that way, it's kind of a surprise. So we did a little boo-boo there. I did a little boo-boo there, not we, I did. And let's just put this pumpkin down there. And then it's not a big deal. Okay, we're going to cover the boo-boo up. We're going to give you a surprise in the way of a pumpkin when you lift your index card up. I kind of like that idea. We have to make sure that this is completely dried before we put that back down. Otherwise, we're just going to end up with another issue. But I think that's okay. What do y'all think? And then this wall... It wasn't this, it was this. Right there. That's what, yep. So y'all be careful. That doesn't take away from anything, even if we pull it over here. And I can see where this does not want to adhere. So I may have to come back and do some fabric tack under here, and that's okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to do this on the other side. And we will watch this pumpkin and make sure that it does glue. It is glued down. So we're going to turn this over this way. And did that catch? Let's just do it like this, guys. This is just going to be easier. Let me see if our pumpkin is down. No, it isn't. So Fabri-Tac. And a clamp. I would use hot glue if I had my glue gun plugged in, which I don't. So, so how's everyone doing? Hopefully, you're um, having the start to a nice weekend. Put this on here like that and then we're gonna work on this side right here so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do it like this and I think we're gonna do it like that what do y'all think you like that let's do this Okay, so I am in the process of um, trying to do my Shabby Dabby Duda design team project and my Angel Dreams, the first one of this month for Angel Dream Crafts Kim. Hopefully you caught Yesterday, my laces that I got, they're so beautiful. And you'll like what I have come up with. So I think on this, I'm not going to use the wet glue. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Fabrifix. And then we'll put this down. And if I come back and this is not adhering... And I've never had trouble with it adhering before, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. But if for some problem it is not, or reason it's not adhering, we will use hot glue. But we should be okay. So we're going to put this in our book, and then we're going to move on to how I assembled this. Okay. I think this is, this should be good. Looks like it is. Let's put this on here. Just for a few. And uh, we'll come back to that. So what I did was I figured the length of what I wanted. And we're going to play off of here. We're going to do a replica. So I've got two pieces here. We want to make sure that we're right sides up and then 
um, if you didn't want to have them go over the page, but you wanted it double with this glued down and then this flip, flipping up, then just save your cardstock like I mentioned before. Use something you don't care about. So we're going to take a scrap piece of paper and we're going to create our hinge. And then making sure, like I mentioned, we are right sides up. We are going to glue our hinge. Just like this on the inside, like that. Just like that. And I'm like, Charlotte, you should have cut it off and you didn't, but that's okay. So we're going to do that. And if you see a little bit of hinge at the top, it's not a big deal. So let me take this because I should have cut this. Before you glue it, you should go ahead and cut that off because you don't want that. And then we're going to cut this off here. Just like that. And then we're going to glue the other side on. So we've got that side there. And now we're going to glue this side right on there like that. Then we're going to open it up and we're going to put our index cards on. So making sure once again that I am right sides together and try to get it as straight as you can. But if it's a little bit off, it's okay because it's going to be on a separate page. So you're never even going to notice. Like if you're a little bit off, I can move it like that. But see how you can see just a little. Doesn't matter. Not important. So then we're going to open her up. There we go. So working with, I'm going to get my glue stick instead of the wet glue. And I'm, I've got a 4 by 6 index card right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to put glue on here. So with my glue stick, and I'm using a, a Yoohoo, doesn't matter, you use whatever glue stick you have. Then we're going to put our index card, making sure not to go over your, your fold or your, um, your crease there. Because you want to be able to fold this down without it catching anything. Okay. Get that out of there. We're going to need it again, but now we're going to cut around our index card. And I can do, I can get two cuts from one of the four by sixes. So we're just going to come in. You can do this with your cutter if you want. If you don't get it exact, use your ink so that you don't have that white. And there we go. Now we're just going to trim this up, just like this. This is a hair. If you ink it, you probably could just leave it. So we've got one side, and now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so let's bring this back. And... Glue it down, just like that, and then I like to fold this up just because then I know where my fold is. And what I like about the using the glue stick is I can maneuver this then. If I've messed it up, make sure it folds that you've not messed up here. 
and then we'll come back and we'll trim. It's amazing how um, uneven I can glue something. And, you know, I'm trying not to mess up like this, but it's amazing to me how off I am. If you hear the crackling paper, it's the cat. Loving on everything. So. Happy Veterans Day, guys. Okay, see how when I fold that, you see that? Not a big deal at all, because like I mentioned, it's on another page. So we're gonna just come by here and we're going to kind of make things disappear, make the white go away, because we don't want to see that. Okay, then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. We did it on the outside, so to me, we're going to do it on the inside as well. Then you don't have to, but you can do it up here too, and we should be good. So, there is the one. And I would imagine y'all would like to see these decorated too, because the extras that I make are going to be giveaways. This one is not. It is going in the book. This one, I mean, the book's a giveaway, but this one is going in the book, and it's going on here, so just like that. Then we're going to attach it at the bottom with our paper clip, and look what we've got. So there's the cutest belly band with writing space underneath. I think it's adorable. I really, 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 really love that idea. So there is that. There is this one. Um, do we want to, let's see what I've got that might look good. That's kind of cute. This is kind of wonky with the, um, there's texture on this because of the uh, unevenness that I did with the, uh, embossing glaze, so I'm not a real big fan of that. The color on that with this, I don't care for on this side anyway. I think I might do that. I only have one leaf because I really, really did not expect to do this. So, um, let's see. Because it's a giveaway, I just think we should do something a little cool with it. It's kind of neat. Let's see. I think we're going to put this there. Yep. Glue. Let's do this. Okay, we'll get this down here. So if you all have six inch books or um, you can always cut it off at the bottom if it's too long. That's just cute. That makes for a really, really cute. That's cute. That's cute. Let's see this one. Oh, that's really cute. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, that's really, really cute. So, like I said, you can always, if you've got a journal and you think, oh, this would be so cute in my journal, but your journal's already made, just go ahead and slip this 
between the uh, stitching in your signatures and it'll be perfect. So this makes a really, really great add-on. If you wanted space, you, maybe you have um, some things you'd like to add to your journal. So this would give you a little bit of extra space to be able to do that. Isn't she sweet? And then just flip this up, or it could go this way. Uh, this wouldn't because of the pattern, but it could go this way. So let's make one that is going to go that way. How about I did these different cutouts to be able to demonstrate that. This one here, I did this so that they wouldn't be the same. I took the opposite side and I thought, what about if we did it like this? Standard, standard. What if, um, do I have a journal page? I don't think I've got a journal page to show this. But if you went this way, this probably, this, this needs to go north and south because it's too long. But you could cut it off. And now that I say that, I'm like, do I have a long, let's see what my, my giant index cards measure. Look at that. So it's, these are eight by five, I'm sure. So you would have butterflies on one side and this pattern on the other. So we're just going to repeat this. Let me grab a piece of paper here. Just some scrap paper. We're going to do the exact same thing here. So we're going to take this. And I believe these are two inches. Pretty sure these are two inches. So we're going to put our hinge on. Just like that, cut this off. You'll see how easy, it's just easy. Put your other side on here. So if you make a bunch of these and you decide, oh, that's, I, I really want that in my journal, but it's too long. Just cut it off. Even though you have your index card in here, just cut it off. It's okay. Just like that. So we are going to open up like this. Just like that. So now, once again, you're going to grab your index card or coffee tea dyed paper. It could be whatever paper you want. Does not have to be an index card. This just happens to be an index card video. And that is why we are using index cards. But it does not have to be an index card. Coffee tea dyed paper, regular computer paper, whatever is your preference to use, use that. And I'm just going to tilt this up. Hopefully I'm on camera. The further I have to get this away, the harder it is for me to see what I'm doing. Look at that. Almost perfect. Almost. So we've got that. Now we're going to cut this off. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side, and then however you wish to decorate this is up to you. You can do it for fall. I would do it for fall, because that's what we're working We're working on fall. So, this I don't know that I'd even mess with. 
that is up to you. I'm going to do it because it's at the bottom and we want them to be even. This I'm not going to worry about because we're going to make it disappear. See that? Didn't even know it was there. Just like that. And on the other side as well. Because you've got that dark paper and then you've got the white of the index card. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we've got our index card. Let's pull out our glue stick. And get this going. Okay, make sure that we've got it covered in glue. And work on the piece that I did not cut because I know my lines will be even. So I'm trying to get this remove this make sure that folds that's important that that folds Okay, and once again, we're going to trim this off. To those of you, I meant to mention yesterday and I forgot about my candle. To those of you that are worried about me and the candle, when I was, I think it was, I think I was a sophomore in high school. I may have been a junior. Maybe it was my junior year. Three days before Christmas, we had faulty wiring in our home, and in the basement, a fire started. We had acoustical ceilings, and so they were fire retardant. And um, does that make sense? Acoustical ceilings? I don't know if that's the right term. Um, the ceilings had fire retardant in them so the fire never went upstairs but the smoke damage completely destroyed the the entire home and the um, the intense heat for those of you that know uh, what the old phones were like the old plastic phones not your not your uh, your droids or your iPhones today but your regular phones uh, the heat was so intense, my phone was a big plastic glob on the table. So our home was completely destroyed, not livable. We had to move out. The entire thing had to be rebuilt on the inside, down to the, down really to the studs. And um, Ever since then, I am so super cautious. Like, I can blow this candle out, and I will look three or four times and say to myself, it, the, it's out. If I iron, I will unplug the iron, and I will go back, and I will look to make sure that it's unplugged. It's, it's a thing with me that I can't help. And um, it's just the PTSD of that whole situation. So I am extremely mindful that I've got that, that candle there and what fire can do. So those of you that are worried about me, I appreciate it. I really, really do. I'm good. Nothing's going to happen. Of course, then I want to knock on wood because it is, it's really, really frightful. So thank you, thank you for thinking of me with that. But look at this, isn't that so cute? So if you had a journal, you could just slip this in between two of your sewn um, signatures in the page where you wanted it, and you'd have this belly band. So we, we need to decorate this. I'm not sure, excuse me, let's see what exactly we wanna do. 
That doesn't even show up. That doesn't show up. I think what I'd like to do is, is uh, just put some really, really cute, cute butterfly on here. But I'm going to have to cut one out because I don't have anything right now that I think is going to look cute on here. That's cute. If I put this on there, is a butterfly on the other side going to look good? Oh, decisions. That then you can't see, but I kind of like this. I think the leaf is way too big for the size of the... That's kind of cute, though, but not really. Hmm. Okay, guys, what should I do? What should I do? I do really like that. I think that's really pretty. Do y'all like this? I mean, this is a giveaway. Do y'all like that? Oh, cute. What do you think of that? Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, I like that too. Okay, well, see the trouble you get into? No, don't like it. It's too big. Oh my goodness, I like that too. All right, guys, here's option one. Okay, right here, there's option one. Option two. No, I really like that. I think I like that. Option three. Oh, I like that too. Uh, you know what? We're going to go with this option two. So let's glue this down. Yeah, before I change my mind, let's glue this down. Just like this. Hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Okay, let's glue this down. And I may have put glue where I shouldn't have. It looks like I probably did right here. And this is going to be okay because you're not going to see this. This will be this will be flat on the page, and it will look like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I can see I'm going to have to die cut some more of these pumpkins. And then we're going to put this one on. And will we put the entire thing on? I think so, yeah. Okay. Righty. Just a fun, fun little project. A great project to do if you've got scraps. Wonderful, wonderful project to do if you've got scraps. Get out your scraps for your pumpkins, um, you know, or your your um, store-bought. What do you think? Oh, isn't that so cute? I'm in love with that. That's really, really cute. Something a little bit different. And then on this side, we have this. And I'm just like, I like the idea of a butterfly if it were spring. But I really don't like the idea of the butterfly. Let's see if we need one of these. Let's check it out. Okay. To get the stick off. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Burnish this. Need to burnish it anyway. And then let me just put some glue in here and kind of hold it. I was just looking for my Diet Coke and I didn't bring it upstairs. I was so excited to get up here and make the movie that I did not bring my soda. Okay. 
And we have been on, oh my goodness, almost 45 minutes. I can't even believe that. Okay, so let's see if we like this. No, I don't like that. It, um, it needs something with it. It's too, uh, well, do we like that? It doesn't stand out enough. You can't, you can see it, but you can't really see it. Is That's my issue with it. I don't like that at all. And I, this is not going to work. And it doesn't. I like the leaf. Well, I don't know. What do y'all think? Who votes for this? Y'all vote for this? Okay, let's do it then. All right, let's do this. We will glue this down. Yes, we will. Okay then. What would I do without you? And then we already know We already know we're going to need Fabrifix for this guy, but let's see, if we put him there, oh, that's cute, what do y'all think of that, or, oh, I kind of like that, this breaks this up, what do y'all think about that? Yeah? You like it? Okay, then. We're doing this. Yep, we are. We're going to do this. See, we mess around enough. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. So, Fabrifix on this guy. And we're putting him about like that. Hopefully, that was about right. Let's adhere this just for a minute. I want to reach for my soda. I can see my soda. It's across the room. I did bring it up here. I just, just, it just didn't make it to the table. Okay, guys. And then this. Oh, it is cute. All right. You know, this is going to go to somebody. So I hope you all like this. Please let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so I do want to put this on here because I want to make sure that it does what I want it to do, which is it here. So, Charlotte, yeah. Let's get it on there like that. Get some pressure on that. So that is so cute. And then you've got that. Oh, guys, I hope you love this. I just really, really, I don't know. I, I, I came up with it, and I just thought it was adorable. Now, I did... I did pull out and cut paper for, let's see, I wanted to do one that was uh, east to west, and so I think what I thought about doing was like this. So you'd have that page, and then you'd have that page, and then with this one, Is that what I was thinking of? I don't think it was. Okay, what I think, okay, what I think that this was going to be was, this was going to be like this. So you would flip this up, but then this would be adhered. So I think I'm still going to do this, and I'm still going to do this, but we've been on together about 45 minutes. That's long enough, because now I'm just going to repeat myself. And um, you get the idea of what I'm going for here. And um, hopefully you can go ahead and make some of these and enjoy this idea. 
And in the meantime, let's, yeah, that's still not adhered. So let's do this. It has to grab. So cute. All right, so let's do our giveaway from last week, and then sometime over the weekend I'll finish these, so there'll be two more that we're giving away next week. But meanwhile, do you remember these? Um, they've got the tags on the inside, and the back of the tags have the index card, so let's give these away. Let's do that. And then y'all can be on your merry way enjoying a fantastic weekend. I hope your weather's good. I know it's beautiful here, but this is our time of the year. Whoops. Okay. How about this first one is going to go to Beverly Nielsen. Oh, Beverly, I always think of you because you always get so much rain, and I hope you're not in the middle of snow. So, Beverly, that is going to come to you. And Tammy Winkler, this one to you, sweetheart. Now, I have to say, I'm guilty of this. I Ooh, look, I just found another. Look at that. Yippee. Um, I don't know who this person is that I was giving this to, so I haven't been in touch. So, um, if you know who you are, let me know. But a Merry Crafty, this is coming to you, honey. So, three will go out this week. And um, I just appreciate each and every one of you. And I look forward to what is coming for Merry Monday. I'm sure I will not have a video tomorrow. And um, I am going to go ahead and finish these off, guys. So have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Love each other. Be happy. Um, that's what life is all about. Take care of yourselves. And if you burn those candles, be really, really careful. I'll see you in the next one. Hugs, guys. Bye.